Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm going to do a detailed review on this Black & Decker 12-pot programmable coffee maker, 12-cup programmable coffee maker. It's model number CM2030B. So this, they do sell one with a, with a stainless steel coffee pot or cafe. This one's got the glass and it's got the warming plate. So this warming plate gets warm. Again, it's a, this is the 12-cup one. The display is not backlit, but it is relatively easy to um, to set, and you can set it to come on in the morning. When you're ready to, if you want to just brew a pot of coffee right now, you're going to hit this, and that kind of that turns on that blue light. The display is not backlit. Pretty simple. The coffee pot's pretty basic. It's got the it's got the uh, lever that flips up. It's got the pause brewing. We lift the lid. It does come with a reusable filter. I don't like to use reusable filters. I like to use, so this will take a basket style filter. Here's the filter basket. It's got that plunger in the bottom so that when we take the pot of coffee out, that plunger comes down and stops the brew process. Pretty simple how, the, how it goes. It's got a big indentation there where it goes. It's got this special brew head. They call it a even stream. I've never seen one like it. I'm not sure how much it does, but it, they claimed it, that it is a little different. Your water is going to go right here in the back. It does have a sight glass to let you know how much water you've got in there. You can't see it from the front, and it's only on one side. It does have cord storage. Again, if you overfill the water, that's where it's going to come out. Those are overflows. And it's just a two-prong electrical plug. Pretty standard. It looks like about two feet. So front to back is about 10 inches, about seven inches wide. Height wise, it's about 13, but you gotta lift the lid. You gotta be able to lift this lid because you gotta pour the water in the back and get to your coffee. So unfortunately, it is pretty tall. It's 21 inches tall with the lid open. So this will not fit under a standard kitchen cabinet. Kitchen cabinets are about 18 and a half inches. So before we begin, I'm gonna show you how to set the time. It's just got this hour and minute button. You're gonna come up here and hit the hour button. Unfortunately, these coffee makers lose their time if they lose power for more than five seconds. It's only got a PM light. So if you want AM, you gotta make sure the PM light's off. So it's 11, and do the minutes, it's 11, 10 PM right now. Now it does have a strong setting. It's got three settings. Normals when you don't see anything, medium and bold. So it's got three different uh, brew settings, and that's it, they just take a little bit longer. There's not much they can do to make it brew that much different, except they kind of make it brew a little longer. And that's what those three bar there are two bars. So when there's no bars, that's just a normal brew, and there's one bar and two bars. You've got this one to four cup, so that lights up the one to four cup. You'll see a little cup of coffee in one to four. That's if you're going to do a small amount of coffee. And again, we talked about the center button. This is if you want to brew a pot of coffee right now. You just press that, it starts the brew process. Now the program button. Say I want to start this in the morning. Say I want to start this at 5 in the morning. I'm going to press this program button. It's going to flash the time. I'm going to set the time now. Make sure you, if you want AM, make sure the PM light's not on. So I want to give yourself about 15 minutes. I'm going to do 5, 15 AM. That's when this coffee maker will start. You got to make sure you've got the water and the coffee filter in and, and the coffee grounds. All of that has to be in ready to go. Now I've set the program. I got to do one more step. I got to hit this auto button. That's going to turn a little light on right there. That's a little, not a light, but a little clock symbol. That's letting me know that th that's all I have to do, that this will start in the morning. I don't have to press any other buttons. I can check that time. Yeah, 5.15 a.m. That's when I want. And the auto, that little clock symbol's on. That, so when I go to bed, I want to make sure that little clock symbol's on. This coffee pot will start in the morning if that little coffee pot symbol's on, or that little clock symbol. Don't hit the start button now. If you want to cancel it, just hit this auto button one more time. It turns it off. Again, to program it, press the program button and do your hours and minutes. And then come back here after it's done flashing and hit that, and that little light, that little clock symbol turns on. So again, it comes with a reusable filter. I'm going to take that out. 
So that reuse most reusable filters have got a little um, like a little handle. This one doesn't have it. The filter basket has a nice handle. Okay, so we're just going to use um, basket style eight to twelve cup standard coffee filters. This does not come with these. Okay, so I've got the coffee filter. We just kind of we just press it down in there. Make sure it kind of hugs the sides. Yeah, that should be good. Now the user manual says I'm just using standard Folgers coffee, ground coffee for a coffee pot. It says to use one tablespoon per cup. So I'm going to do 12 cups. So I'm going to put 12 tablespoons in the filter basket of coffee grounds. If I was only going to do four, I would just put four tablespoons and I would fill this up to the four mark and then we're going to put the water back here. But and say if I wanted to do six, I would do six tablespoons, fill this up to the six mark. And then once up to the six mark, I'm going to pour it back here where it goes. But we're going to do 12. So I'm going to count off 12. They go right here. One. Two. Okay, so I've got 12 tablespoons of coffee grounds right there in the coffee filter. You ever wonder why coffee pots have this hinged lid? I think it's so you can fill them up with water easier. Okay, I've got my coffee. This I've got this filled up to the 12 mark. This is just nice and easy to pour your water in with. So I'm going to pour it. It goes in the back here. Take it nice and slow, otherwise it'll start spilling all over. There's a nice big opening where your water goes. Again, don't overfill it. Okay, I'm going to put now the coffee pot is empty. I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to verify. Yeah, I've got it's filled up to the 12 mark. There's where my water is. Now I'm going to close the lid. It's nice and closed. Got my lid closed. Now I'm simply going to hit this big button here. That's going to start the brew process. And we're going to watch it and time it and see what the temperature is when it's done. So this is kind of your standard percolator cup or percolator coffee maker. It's making that sound. I don't recommend lifting this, but I just want to show you. There's the water coming out of that brew head. It's going on top of the coffee grounds and then it comes down into the coffee pot. It's not super loud, it's just kind of a standard uh, coffee maker sound. Okay, so it's been about seven minutes and it's almost to the seven cup mark. That's pretty standard, about a, a cup a minute. So it's got this pause brewing I wanna show you. So say you wanna grab a, even though it's brewing, it's gotta it's got brew all the way up to here yet. I can grab a quick cup of coffee if I want and I can pour me a cup of coffee. You do get a drip or two onto the burner. Then when I put it back, it continues the brew process. So what you might have seen pop up, this is a brew timer. So that's two minutes. That's how long this pot of coffee has been sitting here. And that's going to continue to count down. Even when this finishes all the way up to the 12 cup mark, that's going to continue to count. That lets you know how old that pot of coffee is. Okay, so we're not quite to the end yet. This lid gets kind of hot towards the end. You know, it did a pretty decent job with the coffee grounds. Yeah, be careful. There's a lot of steam. Don't let that up till it's all the way done. So we're almost to the 11 cup mark, and it's been about 12 minutes. So that's pretty standard for a coffee maker. Again, if you do those bold flavors, the strong flavor and bold, it's going to take about two or three minutes longer for each one. Okay, so let's pour us a cup of coffee. See how this pours? It's really full. Yeah, it pours okay. So nice and slow. Check the temperature. That's a pretty. That's about, that's about standard. One sixty-five. That's a really hot cup of coffee, and it, it tastes pretty good. Hmm. Yeah, that's a pretty good cup of coffee. You know, it did okay with the coffee grounds. I would have liked to have seen it not come up so high in the filter basket. But I don't think I have any coffee grounds in my um, in my coffee. But it does come up pretty high, so I might just use 11 tablespoons. But it did pretty good on the coffee grounds. So now this coffee maker will keep that warming plate on for two hours. If you forget to, so when you're done brewing the coffee and you're done drinking your coffee, you're going to want to turn this button off. But if you forget to turn this off, it's going to leave that warming plate on. That's going to keep your pot of coffee warm for two hours. And again, that's the timer. That's going to let you know 
how long has that coffee pot been sitting there? That's pretty good because coffee, when it does sit there for an hour or so, it does get pretty bitter. Okay, so I'm done with this cup. I'm gonna turn it off myself. Okay, so let's go over cleanup now. So again, let this kind of cool off. There is kind of, bit of quite a bit of steam coming off, but it does have a handle here. So we can take this over to the trash can and knock out that uh, filter with all the coffee grounds in it. So here we have cleanup. This filter basket is dishwasher safe in the top rack. Again, this lid just put, there's two little ears and those are just got some cutouts. So those just snap on and off there. Both of these parts are dishwasher safe. So all in all, this is a pretty decent coffee maker. Um, I wish the, bat, the display maybe would be backlit, but that's okay. Um, I think it's going to be a pretty good, Black & Decker does make some pretty good coffee makers. And I think there's, they just wanted to make it as simple as possible as far as the program. And I think this is pretty simple. So if you got any questions on anything about this coffee maker, how I made the coffee, anything at all, uh, leave them in the comments down below. I check my comments on a daily basis, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks, everybody, for your support, and if you could, please like and subscribe.